Panzer Band.
guarantee you the only way you're going to be free is when you surrender to Jesus Christ. Because there ain't no freedom anyplace else. And that's a fact. Well, this is dedicated to uh, all of you who like the casinos.
I was thinking about neutral. I was thinking about neutral because of the mud. How many of you realize that there is mud out there tonight? <laughs> yeah, we had to pull a, or push a car out of one, one serious bunch of mud the other day. Do you ever get there spiritually, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Spinning them wheels, you know, the more you do, the I wouldn't know, it never happens to me, but. <laughs> Put in a, a, a new old trailer the other day, and over here, my uh, youngest daughter and son-in-law, and it was hilarious, because, of course, the gravel wasn't settled in, and it rained, and. But there's this thing about neutral. You might get stuck in the mud, but I think a whole lot of people that call themselves Christians are stuck in neutral, man. You got the, you got the emergency brake on. You got a couple of anchors, and I don't mean the Word of God thrown out the back, you know. And you're just sitting there eating popcorn, watching the grass grow or something, man. You ain't making a whole lot of mistakes because you ain't doing nothing. You're stuck in neutral. That's a lot of the church is stuck in neutral now, or they run from one new trip to the next. And some of your moms and dads, man, and some of y'all who are parents, you've been talking discipleship and commitment to your kids for years. And when it comes time for them to do it, you want them to get a good education and make that jing, you know? Get that 401k going. Or as they say in VeggieTales, get the stuff mart so you can buy more stuff. That's how neutral happens. All you gotta do is be American. All you gotta do is try to cram your life full of more material stuff. And more is never enough. And the older you get, you look back and you think, what have I done with my life? You're not thinking that now, some of y'all are too young. But there's gonna come a day, a time, when you're going to think back about what you did with your life. And some of you, you know, you prayed some two-bit cheap prayer saying, I want fire insurance. If there's a hell, I don't want to go there. If there's a heaven, I sure want to go there. 
So Jesus come into my life, and it's not by works you're saved. That's the truth. You're not. It's only by the mercy and the love and the grace of God. But when it comes time to share that grace, well, you're just kind of in neutral, aren't you? You pay somebody up on the, on the platform Sunday morning to do your preaching for you, your teaching for you, your praying for you, visitation in hospital for you, go to the jail for you, and you work a nine to five or you go to school and you try to find a nine to five and you got to render to Caesar. That's the truth, you do. And all of a sudden you're stuck. An hour or two a week, that's big whoopee ding. Well, I'll tell you what, I gave more time, money, and effort to dope, sex, and music than you do to the one you call your Lord before I was a Christian. And when I came to the Lord, I realized something that some of y'all still haven't figured out. Everybody who follows Jesus is a servant, not just a son or a daughter. A son and a daughter, but a servant. And it's going to be well done, not well considered or well theorized. And there's an awful lot of people spending an awful lot of time going and finally they just stick the thing in neutral and pop that thing off and just sit and watch people don't come to Jesus those that have come to Jesus aren't discipled are not growing in Christ why well of course because you haven't paid the staff enough or found the right people to do your work for you to study your Bible for you to pray your prayers for you to confess your sins for you What's wrong with all that? Tons, man. The priesthood of all believers means you and me. If we're going to follow Jesus, it's a walk. It's not a talk and it's not information. It's transformation. And either we live for him or we're dead in neutral. Thank God for mercy every morning. Thank God at the end of this you get to say, I'm sorry. Forgive me. That's at the end of this show. <laughs> There is a prayer tent. Make use of it. There's a God who hears on this ground. Talk to him tonight. Be straight with him about the junk you've piled up trying to find what only your Father in Heaven can provide. You're not God. Neither am I. Let's quit pretending that we don't know the truth. You shall know the truth if you continue in my word. You shall know the truth. The truth will set you free. Pay attention to his voice. These are going to be important days for a lot of y'all. Tune Roy wrote, one of my favorites. By the way, Roy Montre on bass. And by lock on drums. It's a tune called Whisper. Feel
Thank you. How about them Lee boys? Woo! Some frightening stuff. That's great. Talk to me here. Tom. Say hello to Tom.
old friend of ours, Mike Shoby, to the stage to play a little keyboard on this one. Give him a hand, please. Yeah, but you were old enough to dance back there, man. We were both dancing when the Lee Boys were cranking. Any of you all dance tonight that usually don't? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> I said, man, I, I walked back to Mike and I said, we need to get us some barbecue. You know? <laughs> That's all there is to it. So how you feel? Well, just wait until Friday or so, you know. <laughs> it's an incredible thing. There's this like Cornerstone Bar. How many of you first time? Never been to Cornerstone Festival before? First timers? Oh man, welcome these people. Cool. Sweet.
has been reissued, by the way. Tom wanted you to know that, I'm sure. And, uh, we, uh, for the first time in the history of, uh, of Gur Records, we actually have licensing to all of our songs. It's a long story. Uh, Tom and I are doing seminars tomorrow and the next day and Saturday. And uh, the first two he's taken, uh, Music Musicians and Ministry in the Project 12 Gur Tent. So he can talk about some of that stuff. But the bottom line is we finally actually own all of our own songs, at least for a year or two, right? So... Uh, we're talking about that box set, and he told me recently he grabbed 14 songs from the 20 years uh, video. We actually can put out a DVD of the live show, so that's going to be coming. And you, you just pelt, you just pelt Gur Records with uh, emails. Let them deal. With, don't, don't write me, please. <laughs> little by little, we'll get it all together. Cool. Thanks, Mike Shovey. Give him a hand, please. Gonna do one more tune and call it an evening. I just want to say. Uh, to tomorrow uh, night will be over. I'm going to do a, probably half an acoustic blues set, and then Scott Canise and uh, Ed and Roy and Mike and Marin are going to join me, and perhaps my my girl Amy, and uh, going to move into some stuff from Bound for Glory. Time will tell. Some of that bluesy and Americana stuff. So it'll get a little more intense as the evening goes. But the bottom line is that'll be over at uh, Project 12 Gur as well. So if you want to hear more music from me, we'll be there. But uh, what I want to encourage you to do is think seriously about your life. You know, really, I'm, I'm serious. Some of y'all are stuck so hard in neutral. I just want to encourage you to think seriously about what you're doing. The Bible says that our, our life is like a puff of smoke, a vapor. It appears for a short time, and it's gone. That quick. What are you going to leave behind? A bank account? What? I mean, what? What? You know, I had a bunch of cool experiences. Wow, man. Blow bubbles my way. Turn on the black light. I've been there. Done that. You know what I mean? What? Please. And the, some of the same people that are croaking about the traditional churches having no substance. Step up. It's your turn. It's your turn. So easy to talk, isn't it? I saw smokes like lightning. Click it clap. Lord, it was frightening. Coming down that track Train kept coming I took the shortcut home Oh, my train man coming Oh, the Zion throne
Ultron, baby.
But most of all, follow Jesus Christ. Amen. It's a dirty job.